Hey guys, it's Woody, and uh, I got this piece of fan mail that, that kind of touched me. I, I don't know, maybe I'm just sensitive today, but it, it's kind of long. Sit down and uh, get comfortable. Here we go. I could really use some advice. First, I want to tell you a little bit about myself, so that might be better. I'm 17 years old, and I'm currently a senior in high school. I grew up with a father who abused me. My mom lived across the country. For nine years, I had to deal with him and learn how to do things on my own. Two years ago, I was finally able to move to my mother's. Since then, it's been a battle. My mom already had my older brother to raise. Now I was mixed in. We were on food benefits and any program we could be. Bills increased by the month. My mom was the only person making an income, so I took it upon myself to find a job. I was 16 years old, working 44 hours a week, and at times, I had to walk an hour after work and not get home until 1 in the morning. Then, forcing myself up the next morning for school, it was hard, but we got caught up on our bills, and even though my schoolwork suffered. After my junior year, my mom decided to move. She wanted a place better for our family, so we moved to where I live now. My mom said that since my brother had to work, his older brother, to enjoy my senior year. I played my last year of football, which I love. The season came and then left, and things were reverting back to where they were before. The money we saved was gone. So now it's basketball season, the last sport that I'll ever be able to play in high school. Things are just too bad right now. We wonder some months whether we will have enough food. Just today, my mom and I walked down to the food bank to gather some canned food. Canned food. My mother insists that I play basketball, but I feel as if I need to work, to just try out and focus on getting a job and not anything else. So what should I do? Is doing what I love important enough to overcome me getting a job? Any help to this is very wanted. So, like, we have a family here who doesn't always have enough food to eat, you know. Uh, mom's working, older brother's working, they're all kind of pitching in and things aren't going their way right now. And, uh, like, I recognize this isn't clean water for India. I recognize it's not medical bills. I, I recognize all that. But I also see, like, you know, it, it's a member of Team Gamertag who is going hungry. And... Uh, so I set up a chip-in. I set up a chip-in. There'll be a link in the description, and I put some money in it uh, to, to get it started, to kick it off, to you know, put my money where my mouth is. And I thought, you know, maybe some of you guys could help too. Uh, if you don't have money, don't chip in, right? That's cool. I get that. If it's not something, if you don't want to help them, then that's fine too. But there are a lot of you out there who, you know, can give two dollars, five dollars, even twenty dollars, and not think twice about it. You know, there are a lot of people who, you know, who have enough money for like spare stuff, who spend, you know, enough on iTunes songs that to him it would make a big impact, you know, that, that for him it would be a meal. And uh, I thought I'd just put this up there and see if we can help this guy, if we can rally around this and, and do something for him. Uh, I guess I guess that's it. So I hope you like the video and I hope we make an impact on somebody's life. You know, I, I hope that like, somehow he sees this and, and it becomes a big deal for him. So that's it. Oh, and by the way, the money doesn't go to me or anything. I set up separate accounts and everything. I'll give him the passwords and it's all legit. I promise you. So link in the description. If you can help, help.